Connecticut's Back to School Authority is sponsored by Yale New Haven Children's Hospital, one of the best in the nation. In Hamden, the fall semester was supposed to start last week, but it was moved because of some staffing problems. Students are now telling Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanin that today was weird, yet it was also a wonderful morning. Many arrived on school buses. Others showed up in their parents' cars, and some simply walked here from their houses. But all of these Hamden High School students took the same major step this morning. It's their first day back in the classroom in more than six months. Walking through the crosswalk feels like a normal back to school, but right when we have to put on our masks and know that we're only going to have half of the students in our classes, it, it obviously feels very different. The first day of school was originally slated for last Tuesday. But in late August, Hamden superintendent convinced the Board of Ed to push back the return date by a week because of a potentially serious staffing issue, basically a teacher shortage. But that issue has now been resolved, and students we spoke with took the delay in stride. I actually had a lot of uh, summer work that I didn't complete, and I, I actually finished it yesterday, like just barely on time. I fit snooze on my alarm too, so you know, I understand it. But jokes aside, students say their biggest challenges lie ahead. It's weird. It's it's so different. I'm not sure how to get used to it. Just knowing that it's almost over and last year is gonna be wearing these. But the kids will have plenty of help. Every Hamden student has been given a computer and can choose whether to attend school in person or through virtual classes. But students we spoke with say their greatest asset is their classmates. After all, they're all in this together. These are my buddies, this is my family, and it's time, it's time to go to school. That's true, finally. Reporting in Hamden, Roger Susannan, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.